Hi everybody! So we are here, we have a bonus. We already posted um, Honor's Heartbeat Smoothie for you for Valentine's Day, but we wanted to give you a bonus. Um, this is what she is making today for dinner and it's super simple and we wanted to yes. share it with you. So I like this. I love um, the noodles made from like zucchini and different veggies and and I like a variation because I actually have a recipe in the Brain Warriors Way cookbook. Those of you who have it, thank mm -hmm. you for supporting it. Um, but And I have a wide noodle and I have a skinny noodle, but I don't have beets and that's beautiful. Yes, absolutely. So we, I use zucchini and squash, but you've got carrots and you've got beets here. Oh, these are actually yams. 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 Oh, interesting. Okay, so it looks like carrots. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> okay, so um, so you, as you can see, you can use a bunch of different types of vegetables, vegetables mm -hmm. to be able to make your noodles with and you can make them either really thin or you can make them thick. Yep. So why don't you tell them how they can make the variation like the wide flat like sure. uh, fettuccine style or the yeah. spaghetti style noodles. Yeah. So we have a noodler, a spiralizer, um, and I'm going to actually show you really quick. There are three different cartridges that go in this. This is the skinnier noodle and then down here we have we have a wider noodle. And then, this is for the big, wide spiralizers. You can do like a cucumber salad. Right. Um, those are super fun to play with. I love this machine, even though it's a hand crank thing, um, because your kids will love to play with this, and big kids. Just be careful with fingers. Will love to play with it. Do right. be careful with fingers. Um, it's super easy to use. It only costs about 35 bucks, so you can use use it forever and have fun with it and it's and not expensive. And I know expensive. sometimes they call these things zoodles. Yes. So um, so that's just FYI if you hear that term. Um, and th these are fun for kids because they're colorful and it's a good way to get kids mm -hmm. to eat veggies. So, um, so there are some little pads on the bottom that can suction to your counter or just place them in place with a little wet paper towel. And then, I'm actually going to scoot this over so we're in the shop. Um, you just make sure it's nice and fastened on there and then you crank it and it makes these super fun noodles I'll show you just like that and once you're all done you'll have a nice big bowl of uh, zucchini noodles you can also do whoo, beets which are super fun you'll need to cook these a couple extra minutes because they're a little more firm and the same with sweet potatoes so I want to throw something in. Today Daniel and I did a podcast with Dr. Perlmutter, another series of podcasts. I love him. He's one of my favorite guests. Um, he has the books Grain Brain and Brain Maker. And he's so incredibly knowledgeable and he's so sweet. And he, he really goes in depth into why gluten is really not good for your brain and not just if you're celiac, but for everyone. Mm. And he quotes all the studies. And there's still such a controversy over this. People really don't like this idea. They don't want to give up gluten if they're not celiac. Right. But he really is not kidding and he's not backing down. Mm -hmm. So I love that podcast. And so we talked about alternatives for things like bread and pasta. This is probably my favorite alternative yeah. to pasta. Mm -hmm. One of the things he talked about for preventing Alzheimer's, because we are big fans, there is no cure for Alzheimer's. But there's prevention. Mm -hmm. For preventing Alzheimer's, one of the main things you can do besides exercise is you need to increase things like fiber. It's your yeah. diet, but, yeah. but increasing fiber is huge. Mm -hmm. Getting rid of gluten, getting rid of simple carbs, and increasing fiber. And this is how you do it, okay? It tastes delicious. It's beautiful. You're getting a ton of nutrition, yeah. but it, it just it's going to dramatically increase the amount of veggies in your diet yeah. with the prebiotics to feed the pro yeah. the bugs in your gut and increase that fiber. So we strongly recommend these alternatives. Yes. Um, I love this cream sauce you came up with. Again, I also had one in Brain Warrior's Way. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's a little more complicated. There's actually more ingredients in the one I had and I like this. Okay. So one yeah. of the alternatives is you can also use some cauliflower, but this is so easy yes. and so fast to do. Uh -huh. So show yeah. us. So um, in one of our videos before we did a tzatziki sauce with cashew cream and I showed you some alternatives. This is another alternative. So um, you're going to soak your cashews, raw cashews, organic, in water for at least four hours, eight hours overnight. I like to do them overnight and I do a big batch and break it up and use right. it for different recipes. But anyway, you want to do at least half of a cup of raw organic cashews, let them soak so you can um, activate those um, enzyme inhibitors. Yep, right? <laughs> and then, so what you're going to have are these nice juicy plump cashews. 
You're gonna throw them into a blender with, if you do about half a cup of cashews, you want about a cup of water, cold water, blend them up and you're gonna get this thin uh, cashew cream. Now you want it a little bit thin because when you cook it down, it tends to uh, the thicken up. Gonna evaporate. Yeah, it's gonna thicken up. So we're gonna make a super simple Alfredo that is delightful. I'm gonna grab a pan. I have to tell you, it actually tastes like Alfredo. It tastes really like Alfredo sauce. So I've got a teaspoon of macadamia nut oil. You don't need much. So alternatives to macadamia nut oil, not everybody has that. Um, if you are cooking at low temperatures, you can use olive oil. Mm. If you are cooking at higher temperatures, avocado oil, macadamia nut oil, those types of oils mm -hmm. are really good. Um, Coconut oil, if you like, or if you're a fan of coconut oil, it will change the flavor a little bit. But so. it's delightful. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. So I did about a quarter cup of minced onion and about a tablespoon of garlic. You can go a little crazy with that because I love it, and it's amazing for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute that for just a minute to let the uh, onions and the garlic kind of cook down. So while it's sauteing, just so um, mm -hmm. in case they didn't see or hear, let's go back over this. How much of each? So oil? I had about a teaspoon of uh, macadamia nut oil or coconut oil, about a quarter cup, uh, sorry, <laughs> about a quarter cup of minced onion and about a tablespoon of garlic. Perfect. Super easy. So I'm just going to go ahead, where did my whisk go? Here we go. I'm going to stir that up really quick. Now I also, whoop. so I, also, I think I'm going to, I don't have a pan going on the back because what I'm going to do with my squash is literally just cook it for like two minutes at the most. I'm coming over here so that awesome. they can actually Yay, see. Perfect. So I'm, I want you guys to see what she's doing um, because it's really simple. Garlic, onion, just give them a minute just to get like a little bit of color on them. And then I will add my cashew cream. So you don't need to cook this very long at all because it is gonna thicken up quite quickly. I'm going to actually um, season it with just a pinch of salt. So you turn the heat off for a little bit? Or do you turn yeah, it down? Yeah, I don't want it to get too thick. And then if it does get too thick, you can just add a little bit of water. But that's about the perfect consistency. And then I'm gonna go ahead and saute my zoodles. So are you just using the zucchini Ooh. for purposes of this demonstration? What do you mean? Are you gonna use the other noodles or just these for right now? Oh, I'm just gonna use these for right okay. now. But you can mix it. Oh, absolutely. Right. So depending on what color you want, if it's Valentine's Day and you wanna throw the beets in there, it's beautiful. All right. Little seasoning. And then, to my, to my cashew uh, cream sauce, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. That will help to brighten it up. And a pinch of nutmeg. So I know one alternative, if you really like it cheesy, you can add a little bit of nutritional yeast, right? Yeah, we love that. But some people are highly sensitive. It can cause, uh, let's just say some uh, digestive issues, shall we? Um, it can cause, on Valentine's Day, some digestive issues you might not want if you're going on a hot date. So um, some people are really sensitive to it. It causes bloating and gas. Um, so if you're sensitive to it, either use very small amounts or don't use it. Okay. So again, we don't want to overcook them. We want to keep a little bit of the firmness to crispness. So we'll just let those cook for one more minute. Someone's asking if we're using copper pans. No, we are using ceramic are pans ceramic. today. Okay, I made you a little chicken breast heart for Valentine's Day. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> so if you want to come back with me over here, we'll clean okay. it up. We're going to come over here. We have a big mess in the kitchen from cooking, so I'm trying to not show that. This is a very real house, a very real, uh, right. like, if you saw how lived in this house is, you would understand. We are cooking constantly. I love it. I love it. I we're love cooking, it. we're homeschooling, we're like, we've got animals. It's pretty much like a mess. So um, what I did here is I just roasted some chicken breasts. I love to throw some uh, citrus in the oven with them to just give them a little juice at the end for plating. And I just did some garlic and parsley, salt and pepper. And I have these gorgeous zoodles. Oh, it's so pretty. Come apart. 
So I love these flowers. Did you see how she decorated with these flowers? You can eat these. <laughs> yes, you okay? can. Okay, so these flowers are edible. They're actually nutritious. Uh, they don't, they taste good. Okay, these noodles are like lovers. They don't want to come apart. <laughs> OMG. Come on, baby. Look at how long those are. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. All right, forget it. They're stuck together for life. <laughs> like Excuse Lady me. and the Tramp. All right. <laughs> okay. So we have this beautiful sauce. There we go. We're just going to drizzle that over the plate. Look at how creamy that is. It's oh, it's so yummy. yummy. It's so good. I, I mean, it really does taste like Alfredo sauce. And it's surprising. You've got your gorgeous chicken breast. Only significantly healthier. And I now, if you're vegan, substitute it with tofu or yes. you know nuts or something Shrimp, else you want. Right, yeah. steak, mushrooms, portobello mushrooms would be delightful. Yeah, portobello this. mushrooms for vegans would be great. Now I got flowers because it's Valentine's Day and we want to make it really pretty because we've got girly stuff here. And they're colorful, so eat them. <laughs> yes, and a little extra parsley and voila. Yum. So that's a really simple meal you can do on Valentine's Day. Top it with chicken or top it with something else if you're vegan. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy. Yes. So the recipe, recipe, TanaAmon.com. Yes. Mm -hmm. You will find the recipe, the photos, and you will also find the heartbeat smoothie yes. that Honor created mm -hmm. just for you. Yep. And we hope you enjoy it. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody.